Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. In this episode we're going to be looking at what happens when we add a small amount of base to the buffer. It's very similar to my previous video where we looked at adding acid to a buffer but with a few subtle differences. This is 1.12 acids and bases on the AQA A-level chemistry specification and appears on paper one of your final exams. Don't forget to give us a like if you're enjoying the video. Just like we did when we added acid to the buffer, it's important to consider what changes actually take place in the equilibrium when we add the base. When we add our base, it's the hydroxide ions which react with the H plus ions in the buffer. The buffer then shifts to restore the amount of hydrogen ions, causing the amount of HA to decrease while the amount of A minus to increase. This is the opposite to the changes which occur when we add an acid to a buffer. Just like we did for the addition of H plus, we need to work out the concentrations of HA and A minus at equilibrium before we add the base. This is covered in the video on finding the pH of the buffer, but essentially we use the two equations here to establish our starting concentrations. When we add a small amount of base to the solution, we can consider it as a two-step process. In the first step, the hydrogen ions react with the hydroxide ions which have been added to form water. And in the second step, the equilibrium shifts to restore the concentration of hydrogen ions. These processes change three things in the solution. The concentration of HA decreases as it dissociates to form more A- and H+. The concentration of A- increases because that dissociated HA is now added to the A-. And the overall volume of the solution increases because we've added the base to it. In this calculation, there are four steps. And they're the same four steps that we looked at when we added an acid to a buffer. They just have one subtle difference. In the first step, we're going to calculate the moles of HA, the moles of A- and the moles of hydroxide added. In the second step, we're now going to consider the new volume of the solution along with the change in the number of moles of HA and the number of moles of A- caused by the addition of the base. These are then converted into concentrations. You can skip this step as the volumes cancel in the Ka expression, but sometimes we need to actually calculate the concentration, so we're going to go through it in this process. In the next step, we'll use the values calculated so far to find the value of the concentration of hydrogen ions using the Ka expression. And in the final step, we'll calculate the pH from the concentration of hydrogen ions. If we take a look at this example where we've got 0.5 decimeters cubed of a buffer solution, which has been made using a 0.4 mol per decimeter cubed concentration of ethanoic acid and a 0.3 mol per decimeter cubed concentration of sodium methanoate, and we've added 5 centimeters of 0.5 mol per decimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide to the buffer, and we're asked to calculate the overall solution. The first thing we'll do is we'll calculate the starting moles. And to do that, we'll work out the moles of HA, the moles of A-, and the moles of hydroxide, all using the number of moles equals volume times concentration equation. Making sure that we remember that when we've got a value in centimetres cubed, we need to convert it to decimeter cubed by dividing by a thousand. In this second step, we're going to work out the new number of moles of HA and A-. We're going to take into account the change in volume and work out new concentrations. The first thing we'll do is work out the new volume. We'll take the volumes of the buffer and we'll add it to the volume of the base that we've got there. We're then going to work out the moles of HA. To do that, we're going to take the starting moles of HA and we're going to subtract away the moles of hydroxide ions. And then to work out the moles of A-, we're going to take the starting moles of A- and we're going to add on the moles of hydroxide ions. This is the big difference between when we add an acid to a buffer or when we add a base to a buffer, whether we add or subtract from the moles of HA or add or subtract to the moles of A-. The next step is now the same as if we were doing it for an acid or if we are doing it for a base, and we're going to work out the hydrogen ion concentration. To do that, we're going to use the Ka expression, and we're going to put our values in to work out a value for the hydrogen ion concentration. We're then going to work out the pH, and to do that, we're going to do the minus log of the hydrogen ion concentration, and that will give us a pH value of 4.71. That's it for this episode of Bale's Chemistry, very similar to adding an acid to a buffer, but with one important difference. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you need more help with the acids and bases, check out the playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.